Well, it is brown blanket time, which usually means pickup videos. So, uh, let me get started here by showing off the first thing here as my cat decides, hey, this looks fun. I, I don't mean it for you as a place to lay. Anyways, first game is the Witcher 2 Assassins of Creed, get Creed, of Kings, uh, Enhanced Edition. Now, I do have the PC version of this, but I thought I'd pick up the 360 version, as I really do enjoy the Witcher series, and I wanted to support CD Projekt. Now, uh, this version came with a book and soundtrack, but, uh, I am going and picking up the Dark Edition on Payday which comes with a medallion and other various stuff. So very happy I picked this up. You know, it is what it is. Now next up, I might as well show off my next purchase. Let me get this thing into frame here. There we go. This is the PlayStation Move Sports Champion Bundle. It's basically a 320 gigabyte PS3. That comes with the Sports Champion game, which is actually right here. So I don't have to show this off later. There it is. Uh, came with one PlayStation Move controller, but I did pick up a spare. And it came with the eye camera over there, which I haven't really set up yet. So, anyways, let's uh, get these things out of the way. Now I have something I can put my next purchase on. But first, let me show you the games I now have for the PS3. Yakuza 4. 3D Dot Game Heroes. Killzone 3. Tales of Graces. And of course, Uncharted 3. Now, I have played a lot of Yakuza 4, and I'm really enjoying this. I've played some of Uncharted 3 and really enjoy that. I just cracked in the Killzone 3 today, and the visuals are amazing. It, I really forgot how nice the visuals are on the PS3. But, uh... Tales of Graces, I did play a little bit of it. It's a, uh... Japanese RPG. If you like games like uh, Infinite Undiscovery, Tales of Asperia, Desegia, even Xenoblade Chronicles, definitely look into these games. The Tales series is some of the best. And I'm not really into the JRPG scene, but I really love these type of games. My dog goes nuts. Also, it did come with Sports Champions. Now next, and I got these two items within 15 minutes of each other. I picked up a PlayStation Vita. Now I picked up the 3G Wi-Fi edition because it did come with the get with the uh, eight gigabyte card, which by itself was like thirty something dollars. So I said, eh, I might as well spend the extra twenty bucks and get that. And the reason I actually decided to do that is because it came with a little kit. Which came with the carrying case, uh, game carrying case, and a, a god awful screen protector, which was the reason I bought it, and it didn't work out that way. I also picked up some nice trigger grips for it, which you will uh, see here. Um, actually, these really are nice because it gives you gives you like a PS2, PS3 controller feel, and uh, I really do enjoy that. Overall, the PS Vita I have found to have one of the nicest displays I've ever seen. I mean, even on a shitty iPhone 4 camera with a camera light on. Let me turn the camera light off. Even, it's just crisp. Very crisp, very fluent. I'm barely touching the screen, and it it's great. Now, the back also has the little touchpad there. I haven't had many games that use it, only Dynasty Warriors Vita, that I've even played demos of or any of that. So, maybe I just need to find more games that utilize it. Anyways, let's uh, move on. Let's talk about the games I picked up for it. I picked up Wipeout 2048. 
which is a uh, great game. If you played the PS3 version, nothing really different, but it's a very nice portable racer, and you can, you know, play against up to eight people. So it's very nice for that. And actually, this game is the reason I bought the Vita. This is pretty shameless. But I picked it up for Dynasty Warriors next because it actually got good reviews from sites like IGN and GameSpot. So I was really interested. Uh, I, I did play a little bit of it. And uh, it brings back items. It reminds me a lot of Dynasty Warriors 4. And I really find that great because Dynasty Warriors 4 is one of my favorite games of all time. So, good on you, Koi. Good on you. Anyways, with that being said, that is my recent pickups. Um, hasn't been that many, that many items, I guess, but, uh, it's quality, not quantity, you know? You'll also notice that I am back in the old setting right now. Um... I am in the process of moving apartments again, so I did bring the gaming stuff back here while I'm situating through that. Let's just say my life has taken a very, very good turn. And, uh, maybe, maybe what happened, you know, a year ago is for the better. So, thank you everybody for the uh, comments on the videos. I know it's been kind of slow, but I am going through a uh, period of moving stuff around again. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, thank you. Special thanks go out to, you know, I bought this for a great deal from Holly. So thank you again, Holly. Um, this PS3 I got for an amazing deal thanks to a friend of mine, M. So thank you. And, uh, yeah, that's really about it. I mean, as far as PlayStation 3 goes, it's a PlayStation 3. I mean, what can I say? I haven't really fiddled with the move yet, but... If anybody has any games for the PS Vita and the PS3 I should check out, please let me know. I'm actually in the hunt for games. So, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later.